Well, we have our first issue. We're basically out of water. The marina we launched at didn't have potable water, so we started out with nothing. Gosh. Our brand new Power Survivor 40 water maker by Katadyne is leaking both inboard and outboard of the main pump body. And uh, so it's leaking salt water all over the V-berth as we try to use it. We're basically out of water. The marina we launched at didn't have potable water, so we started out with nothing. Now we have about two gallons and it's broken. And of course, they won't pick up their phones. They close at noon on Fridays, so uh, we can't get a hold of them. We, uh, we don't have spare O-rings or any of that. We didn't buy the extended cruise package, which was hundreds of dollars more. So we're stuck with a broken water maker, no one to pick up the phone, and no water. It's brilliant. I decided to disassemble the water maker to see if I could find any obvious causes for the leaking pump body. There was that slight movement in the pump body at either end, so I thought at first maybe the socket cap screws holding the pump just weren't tight enough, but when I removed it, they were pretty tight. On further inspection, it was obvious there was no manufacturing defects whatsoever. No machining burr left on a mating surface, no defective O-rings, nothing. And the fasteners, like I said, were pretty tight. I couldn't think of anything else that could be wrong with it, so I just reassembled it to try again. Put it all back together and we turned it on again, it was leaking even worse. I think maybe I got a piece in backwards or something. It's hard to tell, it kinda, you unbolt it and it just all falls apart in your hand, so it's hard to figure out exactly how it went together the first time. So we're pulling it apart again to see if we can try again. For a while I thought it was possible it had a warped head surface on one of the mating caps, but that didn't really seem to be it either. I ended up tightening the socket cap screws even tighter and worked them back and forth a little bit to try and get a little more tightening out of them. And 90% of the movement in the pump body disappeared. All right, here's the test. Keeping still. Man. Yeah, it's just a manufacturing flaw then. So we just took it all apart twice, checked everything, torqued it down really tight. And it's still leaking. So that tells me that there's something else wrong. In desperation, I retorqued the cap screws again in a different sequence, and it seemed to make a difference. Well, we got it up and going again, and it looks like it's not leaking anymore. There's no water squirting out like there was before. It might still be flexing, Randall thinks it is, but I can't tell. Yeah. I mean, you can feel to the two surfaces right here. Put your finger on it. You can feel them squeezing back and forth still. Mm, yeah. When the At least the O-ring is expanding and contracting as it does it, but I don't know if that's going to be a long-term fix or not. This one, uh, 
this scene doesn't seem to be moving anymore. At least, uh, not as noticeably. This one's still got a bit of movement in it. Yeah, it's got movement, but it's not spraying out water like it was earlier. Yeah, it's true. At this point, it was no longer leaking. It was basically working perfectly. And we weren't interested in sticking around another week or longer to get a technician to look at it or a warranty replacement or anything like that. So we decided to just take the gamble and continue on our trip with the water maker as is. And it ended up that we had no more problems with it whatsoever. Looks like it really was just a slightly under torqued head from the factory.